on Sunday, Texans at the Chiefs. Chiefs, nine and a half point favorite. Total is 51 in this game. It's Sunday, 2.05 p.m. Central Time on CBS. Uh, here are my notes on it. Chiefs gave up 5.0 yards per run to quarterbacks this year. That is 25th in the league. Not very good. Deshaun Watson could have a field day against this defense. Uh, however, the Texans' defense allows the sixth highest QBR in the NFL, and they give up the fourth highest total passing touchdowns in the NFL. Uh, the biggest question for me is, can the Honey Badger take away the middle of the field from Watson? Absolutely, he can. I think he can, too. I he's think been, this is going to be a middle game. He's been the best the safety time. all year long. Yeah, That defense has stepped up massively. They brought in a couple of additions. Um, and, and, uh, Tyron Matthews is nothing short of what that team needed. Yes, I agree. I mean, he, he gives that defense the juice they need. That, that chief's defense has really stepped up here lately. Um, now obviously there are still vulnerabilities, but the vulnerabilities don't seem to hurt you as badly when you have Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. Like it, he, I think against this defense, he is going to be able to light up the Texans in this ball game. Completely, agree. Uh, they're they're secondary. The Bills move the ball great. on them pretty easily. Yeah, they really and that's did. that's with a complete moron, like a guy that's this far removed from maybe being a Neanderthal. <laughs> yeah, no, you you're probably right. You're probably right. I mean he he's got an arm and he's got some moves, but damn, he's dumb. Yeah, and. And Pat Mahomes is anything but that. Oh, hell no. So, the, the weapons co- the, that they've got. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the, the 51 seems like it could be low here. Uh, I think really this could low. be high scoring. Yeah. So, this this is my AFC team. I, it, it makes sense. I've got the Chiefs minus 9.5. That's my official pick yeah. on this. And I think the Chiefs win. I think they blow them out. I, I think they do, too. Like, uh, Texans went in and, and housed them. Uh Week six. That's right. A long time ago. But Mahomes still dealing with an injury. Yep. You know, it was it was a weird, uh, unexpected game. That's right. Uh, and I think the Chiefs are are lighting it up right now. I I completely agree. Anything else we need to handle on that one? I uh, kind of short. I think we're good. Yeah. I mean, I I like the Texans. I don't. I, what they did last week was great. But it that did, second did it half seem, comeback did but. it seem a little flukish in that second? Well, half? that's not flukish. I mean, both of those coaches made just some of the dumbest yeah, coaching decisions. moves I've ever seen in my life in one game, and somebody just has to win the damn thing. Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, I don't, I don't trust Bill O'Brien Bill, in the spot for any. I don't trust no, Bill O'Brien ever, ever, ever. We did not win all year. Now, yeah. now we lost a lot of money bet against him, but I still think we were on the right side of all those bets. Yeah, I mean, it, it, Deshaun like, Watson is un. Believable. You know how I know that? It's because he's carrying that dead ass to the second round of the playoffs, <laughs> to the second year winning the division. Yeah. Like, like Bill O'Brien is keeping his job because they drafted Watson. And that don't get me wrong, that's part of the job. That is part of the job. Part of the thing. But you're right. Whew, man. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. All right. Let's move on. 